On this video we're taking a look at our NCAA B parlay for the games that are happening on Monday, March 7th, 2022. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Our first parlay pick is San Francisco vs Gonzaga. Gonzaga minus 12.5 points. And here is why. The San Francisco Dons will meet up with the Gonzaga Bulldogs in Las Vegas for the West Coast Conference semifinals. San Francisco most likely punched their ticket to the NCAA tournament with a win over the BYU Cougars in the conference quarterfinals. They handled BYU on Saturday night, holding the Cougars to just 15% from the three-point line and beating them 75-63. The Dons are riding a two-game win streak following their home loss to Gonzaga on February 24. They have beaten San Diego on the road and BYU in Las Vegas on their mini win streak. San Francisco is 24-8 and has had an amazing season, but I do not think they can hang with Gonzaga in this game. What we've seen in the first three rounds of this tournament is that Chalk has run the show. In addition to that, the team that had already played in the second round and quarterfinal matchups ended up losing against a team that was rested. That trend continued in the quarterfinals with the Dons' victory over the Cougars. The problem for San Francisco here is that they are the team that have already taken the floor. Gonzaga has won 23 straight meetings between the teams, including the triumph in the city by the Bay a couple of weeks ago. The Bulldogs are going to be focused after losing to St. Mary's in their regular season finale. Gonzaga is on another level this season, losing just three games. They are coming off a loss to St. Mary's in their regular season finale, so I think they will come out with fire in this one to get back to winning ways. The Bulldogs have taken care of most West Coast Conference teams by double digits, including beating San Francisco by 16 points. San Francisco is a very good team, but we could see another blowout win for Gonzaga as they are just more talented. They are well rested after their loss to St. Mary's, and they can take out their frustration in this one. Gonzaga's offense is too powerful for San Francisco, so take them to cover this big spread. Drew Tim and Chet Holmgren should get whatever they want inside as the Don's defense ranks 90th in two-point percentage according to Ken Palm. Take Gonzaga. Our second parlay pick is San Francisco vs Gonzaga. Over 154.5 points, and here is why. The San Francisco Dons and the Gonzaga Bulldogs will face off on Monday night in Orleans Arena. The total for this game is 154.5 points, and I am taking the over. Gonzaga's offense is so powerful it can put points up in a hurry. The Zags average 88.3 points on the season and should come out ready to dominate offensively after scoring just 57 points in their loss to St. Mary's. According to Ken Palm, Gonzaga's offense ranks second in adjusted efficiency, effective field goal percentage, and two-point percentage. The Bulldogs have been lighting up scoreboards this season, piling up an average of 88.3 points per game, which is first in the nation. Gonzaga collects 42.3 rebounds per contest and dishes out 18.3 assists per night on the year. The Bulldogs are 52nd in scoring defense by allowing 65 points a night. Drew Tim is leading the team in scoring as he averages 17.6 points plus 6.4 rebounds a night this season. Julian Strother, 12.5 points, 5.7 rebounds, Chet Holmgren, 14.4 points, 9.7 rebounds, and Rasser Bolton, 11 points, each average in double figures as well. Andrew Nembard, 11.3 points, 5.5 assists, Anton Watson, Nolan Hickman and Hunter Salas are solid contributors for coach Mark Few. Gonzaga is shooting a blistering 52.4% from the field as a team this season. The Bulldogs are averaging 8.63 pointers a night on 37.8% shooting from beyond the arc. Gonzaga is average at the charity stripe as they convert 72.6% of their chances this season. The Dons enter this game 42nd in the nation and scoring offense with 77.2 points per game on the year. San Francisco is 46th in rebounding by pulling down 38.2 boards per contest while dishing out 13.3 assists a night this season. The Dons are playing above average defense for coach Todd Golden as they allow 66.6 .6 points per game on the season, putting them 100th in the country. Jamari Bui leads the team with 17.1 points plus 5.1 rebounds per contest this season. 
Khalil Shabazz puts up 13.6 points per game while Johan Masalski, 13.5 points, 9.4 rebounds, also contributes in double figures. Gabe Stefanini, 9.7 points, Julian Rishwain, Zane Meeks, Patrick Tape, Josh Koonin and Dmitry Ryany all have to do their part for the Dons on both ends of the floor. San Francisco shoots 45.9% from the field as a team on the season. The Dons knock down 9.6 triples per game, while shooting 35.5% from beyond the arc on the year. San Francisco is mediocre at the charity stripe, converting 69.7% of their attempts at the stripe this season. In addition, both teams rank highly in pace of play, which makes it more likely for the total go over. In their last meeting, the total ended in 162 points, and I expect a similar result. The total is high, but Gonzaga can control the tempo and will want to run in transition. Take the over. Our third parlay pick is Santa Clara vs. St. Mary's. Santa Clara plus 5.5 points. And here is why. The Broncos and the Gales will meet for the third time this season as we enter the semi-finals of the WCC tournament. Santa Clara advanced after easily dispatching the Portland Pilots early on Sunday morning, behind 24 points from leading scorer Jalen Williams, who paced the Broncos' offense to 53.4% shooting from the field in the win. The Broncos feature a lineup with four players who average double-figure scoring numbers, and they make 49% of their shots as a team, which ranks sixth nationally. In their win over the Gales a month ago, the Broncos shot 55.4% from the field against the top-ranked Gales defense. St. Mary's comes into this game with a bunch of momentum after defeating Gonzaga, however, the Gales can struggle to score the basketball. Santa Clara has the offense that can put up some points against the St. Mary's defense, and as I think the Broncos are going to give St. Mary's everything that they can handle, the Gales have not played in more than a week, and rust has to be a concern, but they were hot to end the regular season. They won four straight games to close the campaign, and three of those wins came against San Francisco, BYU, and Gonzaga, top 60 teams in the net rankings. The Gales lean on their elite-level defense which ranks seventh in points allowed, with only 59.4 per game, and their all-conference guard Tommy Cuss, who has played 158 minutes during this four-game win streak and is averaging 17 points per game. I recommend the Broncos in this game. I am concerned about the week-long layoff the Gales have had, especially after the monster win against Gonzaga. The Broncos are 5-1 at TS in their last six games against the Gales. They were an underdog in each of those games, and they won three of them games straight up. Take the Broncos. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.